but what a moment it is for football in this country. We have been working towards this for the last three years. It's the biggest game we've ever played in in our lives. This is the moment. People are in love with the Matildas. I love them so much. I've got a big poster in my room. They've done Australia proud. They've done women proud. Let's go Matildas! Let's go! We need them to be as loud as ever tonight, and I know they will. I'm pretty sure England heard that roar all the way over there in the motherland. Here we go. Stadium Australia is a coliseum tonight. The biggest match in the history of football in this country. It's going to be a football war out there. It's one, two of the teams that have tackled the most. Two hands in the back. That really should be a yellow, you would think. And here's a chance driven into the net. England take the lead. England strike first in the semi-final. Here's Sam Kerr. She's going to need some support. Kerr running at right. Kerr with the shot. Oh, I say it's incredible. because Lauren Hemp has scored for England, their second. And the Matildas look on in despair. Fowler, delightful kill! Oh, not too much. In it goes, very uncomfortable. Oh, wide from Kerr. Wide from Sam Kerr. Her face, his face, tell the story. And Russo puts England into the World Cup final. As simple as that. Matilda's miracle now. There isn't time. Australia one, England three. And Australia's magical Matilda ride has come to an end in Sydney. They have done themselves and this nation very, very proud. They've changed this game forever in this country. And for that, the football world, the sporting world here in Australia should be forever grateful. And that moment is to be celebrated. I feel proud to be a part of this nation and the movement in football for Australia. We've still got to be proud of, of this team, this nation, this World Cup. Even coming to the ground and, and seeing, you know, the the thousands of people flocking into the stadiums. You, know, you can just see that it, it's changed the women's game forever and women's sport in general. I think, you know, people are, are finally seeing it for what it is and, yeah, it's a, a step in the right direction and, um, yeah, I'm certainly proud of, of what we've done. Would you please welcome former Matilda Talcarp. I feel like we're having a national Are You OK Day yeah. today. How, how are you? I'm cooked. There is nothing <laughs> left in me to give. I don't even know how I am sitting here right now. Look, the emotional ride that we went on, right, from the absolute highest of highs. Football has been my life and I have not ever felt the way that I did singing that national anthem. It's not an easy anthem to sing with 75,000 people watching our Matildas in that centre of that field. We had a bunch of alumni, Matildas from across the generations, swaying, holding each other, just seeing the amount of public support behind this team before the game had even started, seeing the emotion on those players' faces. I will never forget that moment. And that Sammy Kerr goal, we just saw it. But then the utter devastation. You don't have to talk about those. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreak and pride is how I feel. Yeah. Mm. That, the pride that we all feel in the Matildas is almost overwhelming, isn't it? And last night, you know, when you saw, you know, the, the players crying after the game, you just wanted to get them and hold them because it has been an overwhelmingly transformative moment. But to the Tin Tacks, does the pride that we feel help them in these moments or will they still be really hurting from the game? Oh, look, you can't help but hurt. I mean, we saw it on the screen again, didn't we? And it's so raw and it's so real because it matters so much. They wanted this so badly. But we heard it from Catley in the press conference after, the fact that this is more than just a game, the fact that it's created this momentum. A whole country is behind this game and behind women's sport in a different way. 
of course that means something. And it's going to mean something when we look back on this. And that's what I'm excited about. Like in a generation when we look back, and it's not just a sugar hit and a bunch of amazing women running around fields for a month, but we have actually used this to create real lasting meaningful change for all of us. So, Tal, let's not focus on the loss. I feel like we're giving you PTSD. Yeah, Sorry. No, we have. We have. Thanks a lot. Triggered me. Well done. So let's focus on the good things. Good things. What we just saw was Sam Kerr's goal. And oh. for mine, that was the best goal of the tournament. I didn't see any other games outside of the Australians, <laughs> but still, <laughs> I'll stand by that. Now, we're going to play it again, but here's a little bit of a topper because we have a Spanish-language commentator oh, doing yes. what he does best. Yes. And, Tal, here's a little cherry on the Sunday. Check out how long his goal celebration lasts for. Perdió la pelota. Boy. Para Kerr, mano a mano, 50 metros del arco. Va Kerr, le aparece Kerr por izquierda. Kerr al arco. Don't hold your breath, it keeps going. <laughs> That is some serious physical talent. Isn't I don't know how one does that. I don't know how someone lasts 17 seconds. That's a crazy <laughs> thing. But let's get down to brass tacks. Did England cheat by being better than us? Is that... no, cheat they... by being better than They're us. They're an amazing side, weren't they? They we... did really well. And tactically, weren't they amazing? And credit to their coach, Serena Weigman, the first coach, man or woman, to take two different countries through to a grand final. They played really tactically well against us. They were physical. They pushed us. You can just see Serena before the game talking to her team and say, hit them hard, hit Sammy Kerr hard, it's a physical game, let's make them work for it. And they did it. It was a physical game. Mm. But football is a physical game. Credit to them. We, you know, we can do the trash talk, but at the same time, it would be un-Australian not to give credit where credit is no, due, no, right? it's England. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> one more game, one more game the Matildas have. Uh, playoff for third and fourth. What do we need to, to get up in that match? Oh, wow. Like, haven't we gone from the highest of highs from that quarterfinal yeah. to the depths? So this is completely a masterclass of focus, of resilience, of overcoming. But the team, and they've said it, they want something out of this match. We have never got this far. And what they're doing is absolutely exceptional. They're going to want to put the best field out on that park. And we're going to see them absolutely push themselves to the very end to get a result and to um, make sure that uh, we take that third place mantle from the Swedish team who've had it three times before. Oh, that's enough for them really, isn't it? Enough, <laughs> enough. Yeah. Absolutely the right. are winners in our eyes anyway. Aren't they? Yep. Um, Tal, thanks so much for coming and for guiding us through the tournament. <laughs>